obedience, all the signs have had me acting in truth and finding righteousness. God is truly good. At first, I heard that Sojourner House Shelter was also wrongfully banning other clients and had fired the staffer that I held in the highest regard. Based on that, I wrote a persuasive letter to the city council, every member. I also addressed it to every local media news outlet and everyone on the administration team for the Archdiocese of La Crosse, who runs Sojourner House. That's, they get their money state and federal, but it's run by the Archdiocese. I started reaching out to others suffering on the streets. And based on this, and no response to my letter, I reached out to the city manager's office and was encouraged to say my piece at the next Open Town Hall meeting. So I did. Before I spoke at the town hall the first time, I started interviewing more and more of us, of what some would call homeless, but really street people. More specifically, like I said earlier, those experiencing relational poverty or street level recidivism. I really like that one, even though it doesn't quite fit. <laughs> Fast forward a few weeks to today, after a month or so of spiritual warfare, my soul is calm. My second attempt to reach out to my local city reps was stonewalled. I have numerous tickets from police from attempting to express my freedom of speech. I've been half arrested twice just to be threatened to stay away from those places, wherever they took me down. I don't want diversity, I don't want equity, I don't want inclusivity. I want equality for people like me. I look at, if I look at you, homeless, you look away in shame. Please stop and everything will improve. Smile, wave, anything, so we receive equality, culturally. No programs, no money, just equality. And you'll watch half of these people magically get better. I do want to talk about Wilson Park a little bit as well. Perhaps the oldest and most historic park in the city, shaped wall. I peacefully protested by sitting on a table until I was forced to move by police. I watched as Billy, the city planner, lorded over the destruction of Wilson Park. Shame on anyone that chooses a hot, empty, grass field over a cool, beautiful park full of people and life. Any argument of detritus or reform has to be overridden by common sense. Put in water, put in bathrooms, put the fountain back. I cleaned up the wood on the fountain. I asked them to come down here and clean up the wood and they did way more. Put in the tables and benches again. Again, I just want equality for us. That's it, that's it. Everything else is just a misnomer, a wrong argument. There, there, there's need for housing, but we're talking about the people in the park. That's not people who need housing. They need triage level mental health care services. That includes drug addiction. Yes, that's part of mental health care. If my guts are laying out on the sidewalk and I'm homeless, you call the ambulance. But if I'm laying on the sidewalk with a syringe, you call it disgusting and inhuman. Fuck. Thank you. God bless everyone. God bless Montclair.